Hello? Have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Alright. Hey everybody, welcome to Getting Played with Autumn Ivy. Uh, we're gonna play Fran Bow again. Uh, didn't even realize I was in the room. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She's the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight, so they've been doing experiments on Fran this entire time, and she's been tripping because this Dr. Oswald mofo is a terrible, terrible human being. I'm not, I'm not feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Not feeling it at all. All right. Uh, so I want to examine this. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. So, press it by the ears, twice to the left, once to the right. Rub the eye twice. And then, left eye. So, left, left, right, eye, eye. Okay, let me try this. Hold on. Left. Wait. Okay. Left. Right. I. I. Left. I. Perfect. Oh my goodness, it opened! I'm the master! The ECOG clock. Okay. <laughs> no one sees the great and horrible Dr. Oswald! No one! I hope he's not a pine cone behind the curtain. <laughs> Doing mating rituals in his pastime. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The locust is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Designed by Cogwind, the ECOG clock. Empty case, working bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water, open bar, one glove, black wire, and piano keys. So what you're telling me is I have to... Because that's a good idea, waking up demons, you know. Combine this, combine with the key. But... Wait, hold on, no. Yes. Why can't I... Yeah, okay, alright, there we go. Can I have my cat back now? It's a kitty door! That means good things, right? I would assume, maybe? No? Well, here we are. Oh, that's creepy! Oh my oh, god, I'm in the dollhouse. I'm in the dollhouse. Is that other friend's eye? Oh man. Whose eye is that? What the hell? This is Tesla. He likes to play with energy. Well, how old is she? She's ten and knows this. The smart attack hero. What could it be? Can I use the knife on it? Okay. Alright, so... Piano keys. Alright, so you're gonna make me find things, I take it. And that's just how this is gonna go. Well, yeah, we got... I know, I'm racking up one by one, man. Um, so we got the keys for the, we got the, the, the keys, I got the parts for the clock, there's really nothing else I can grab, I think, in here. These are pieces of things, though. I think I got what I needed out of here. Alright, none of that. Cute little drawing of Kitty and her... Uh, well,
Well, that escalated quickly. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Right? Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once, all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. That's really sad. I don't have a way to do it right now. I need water, so let's work on that next, I suppose. Things have changed just a little bit. Not much, just a little. Alright. So... Bottle with water, wake up clock, working bulb, empty case, one glove, black wire, soap bar. Okay. Um... No wake-up clock in here. Mr. Midnight's bed! Oh, I can almost hear him purring. My slippers! I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. What is that a picture of? Oh, it's so cute. Ha! <laughs> I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of those insects. This is straight messing with me, fam. What did you just say, fam? Uh... Calm your shit, Alice. What? Uh, you ain't called Alice? I didn't do that on purpose. I, I didn't do that on purpose, I promise. I did not. It just... Wow. Wow. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff up together. So this is anti-Alice, is what this is. It's interesting how they, like, literally threw in Alice. I'm not really going to read the context of this unless it's important, so... Apparently she's not licking something, so there's that. So I got a bag. My school case. Can I use it? No, okay. Summer coat, winter dress, regular scarf, doing what regular scarves do. I got a bunch of water balloons, so I can use those to fill up with water to take care of the tree. The shoes that just so happen to look like the dancer's shoes. Creepy doll. Super creepy doll that I should not have for any reason whatsoever, because no. Uh, looks like that's all I can get out of the closet. Alright, going back. Fran in Horrorland. Alright. Uh, no, 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 no. Alright. This is so weird. Let me guess, the eye follows me? Of course it does. That would be... Ew, it's all bloody. There's a key. That is... Not certain what it goes to. I can only safely assume that one of these keys goes... Or each key goes to a door, right? We're about to find out. Oh, wow! Is that a galaxy in that eyeball? Alright. That's fine. I can take this. Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Ukula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage injured Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? 
big yellow eyes, pink nose, fur very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend Mr. Midnight! I have to go and find him! <coughs> but Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You're brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. A golden snail. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Shh. What's in here? Uh, it's a painting. Of... No, why did I just climb to that painting? I didn't know. Oh my god, what is that thing? Okay, well, that's the soap I need. So, and the bottle. He's just trying to be hygienic. I don't know if I trust his hygienicness -ness, ness Nah. 103 is a key that I need. Insert button. Um, button, button. Who's got the button? My money's on the witch. I'm not sure what to do with this. Alright, uh, well. I can't do anything until I insert a button, so I suppose that'll have to wait. Can I grab my bottle? Awesome! Alright, so I got my bottle. And I got my cord. Cool. We're halfway there. E.T. in a tub. All the eyeballs are tripping me out a little bit, though. The eyes are looking all around. I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Oh, a hairbrush to brush hair. All right. Uh, soap bar, glove, working bulb, wake-up clock, and bottle with water. Well, the bottle I've got, I just got to put water in it. So, what does this button do? Turns the lights on and off? Oh, because I need a bulb. Duh! Glad I decided to click that on random. Alright, so we got majority of the stuff to do, so let's use this key. Am I just getting lucky with these doors? Whoa. Hey, that one's got a key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It'd be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? Oh, I see. Well, I'll see what I can do to take the key, then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Ro oh Oh, I'm sorry. His name's Roberto. Hold on. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Anyway. Oh, Lord. Wait, is that the top hat for Itward? Is that it? Wait. It looks like his coat. That, I was going to say, that looks like Itward's clothes. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Maduka's. Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is. You don't? Leave now! Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. Oh, the bitch with the kids. The, the with the kids. Yup. What? I'm at the fifth reality? I thought Rimmer was the king here. Ah, Rimmer. The terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Well, if his teeth are reinforced... Sir, do creepy things like you feel pain? Pain is the opposite of welfare, that's all. Maybe welfare to me is to bleed until my body dries. And pain could be crystalline laugh of a child. So yes, I feel pain. So... What you're saying is... Oh, okay, apparently violence is not the answer. I tried. Inside the little house. I got that already. That has been gotten. Uh, Alright, I don't have a phone number to dial. 
Inward forgot his hat. Or maybe the, for, the hat forgot his head. Alright, here we go with the soap man. Oh, he's so creepy. I'm not done, Mother. I'll take another bath after this one, because I stink. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They're getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin, because I stink. Well, I don't smell anything. What's the smell you're talking about? I stink like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye! Alright. Well, did I press something I wasn't supposed to? Because... Alright. And I'm going to try that here in just a second. Can I have your soap? Does that does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I just want your soap. <laughs> She's so straightforward. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. All right then, take it. It's all yours. That's disgusting. But be careful with the hijackers. They they love children that smell like soap. Mm, nah, nah. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. They're beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Let me check out. Can I get some water from this? Yeah, buddy. Fill up that bottle. Fill up those balloons. Her optimism for everything ever is so unsettling. I need to take, like, I need to take a page from this kid's book about how optimistic she is. That's the wrong kind of optimism. How do you know? Why? It's better than the normal optimism. You know what? Two shares. There's no... I can't get the... Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. <sighs> my, my little kitty would lick and chew. That's disgusting. So, let me go save the treat. Because that's more important right now. I tried the knife on it already. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna go save the tree, though, because I've got the stuff to do that now. Oh! Oh goodness, I missed! Ugh, a Kamala. Nasty creatures. Let me try again. Ah, almost! Please, please, please. Strong and true fly! Yes, I did it! Goodbye, Kamala! Oh, wow! I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you! Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A branch. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Heh, <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Are you going somewhere? Like, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know that we were in a position to go anywhere, sir. Alright, what the hell am I going to do with this branch? He said to plant it. All right, I need a glove and a wake-up clock. Hmm. Okay, so all I don't have a wake-up clock. I just have the cuckoo clock. Can I... Okay, so that's not an option. I can't do anything with the branch yet. So let me go back. Oh, I wonder if I can... Can I use the branch? No? Guess not? Hmm. No! Oh, a painting of a wheel! Very nice! Oh yeah? Alright. So, let's go back to the bedroom. 
That's a good call. Let's give that a try. Okay. Really creepy eyeball watching my business. Not cool. Um... There's the button. Wait, no, hey. I guess I probably ought to... There we go. Alright, cool. Good call. Thanks, guys. Okay, moving on. Moving right along. Oh, I'm sure it probably is Fran's Rhino, to be honest. Because it, it's... I think that's kind of the implication here. Um, did I go through the wrong... Yes, I did. Okay. Gotta go through the other door. Alright. There we go. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that I just got a tip, so if you guys tip me, thank you. You should totally post when you do, so I can thank you, because... I'm trying not to check my phone and do this at the same time, but I love you if you did the thing. That'd be cool. Appreciate you. What was I doing? Oh, okay. Uh, I disconnected the machine. It has no power. Well, go me. Now I have to reconnect it, and then I'll take the cord. There we go. Alright, so I'll use the pliers to get the key. So, that's fine. Let me take that cord back. Awesome. That heartbeat is really unnerving, so... I appreciate you, bruh. Thank you. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna pry that out of that skeleton's mouth. That's what I was doing. Oh, Jesus! All right, well, you know, while in Rome, this is violent, violent, violent little child. Okay, so that means this key goes here, which means I collect the last bit of my stuff. All right. Oh, giant kitty is giant. There's my clock that I need. So I'm going to cut it loose to get the clock. And now all I need is a glove, which is over there. The back of the giant cat. Um, oops, I guess. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but let's hope I was, because I totally just wasted my bag. If I did, what are you doing? Oh. All right, let's get my glove. Get the thing. Cool. All right. I'm going to combine this stuff. So, I got to make... All right. So now, apparently, to wake up Mabuka, I have to put the ingredients inside of the cat's back. So I'm going to do that. Put all of this in here. And hopefully he will poop out what I need to wake Mabuka. I don't really know if he poops. I just was assuming. So, you know, there's that. All right. I don't know why the stick was not part of it at all. My bad. All right, here we go. No? Oh! What the fuck? Did <laughs> it just make a choo-choo sound? Okay. That's fine. Oh my goodness! This is amazing! Something something the ACOG. Because I couldn't see what it said. All right, so what's over here? <laughs> 28. Going up. Oh, well, that's the last key to the last door. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. Well, you don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Oh, well, how disappointing. 
I have a question. Are you stuck to the tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? Well, I'm just curious. See you later. I don't know. I guess maybe you won't mind then if I cut your hair. Oh. Wait, why won't that work? Uh, why can't I... Oh, I guess it's a sir, not a girl. Uh... So brush its hair, maybe? Look! I found a magical hair comb! Isn't it great? I don't... <laughs> Alright. I don't know! A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Oh, it's so sweet. So sweet, she's brushing her hair. Oh, the dragonflies. What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Alright, can I take the key now? Oh, good. Because I can't reach it from where I'm at. No, no, no! Don't go back down! I was going to use the tree branch. I didn't mean to go back down. God damn it. Well, so much for that. All right, let me just use the tree branch. Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. And now I'm hoping that this is the end and we'll see. Cause I can't handle this shit anymore. Like I'm ready to move on and I can't until I finish this damn game. All right, here we go guys, deep breath. Oh. Well, um, that's pleasant. Creature from above, get out from Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Can I talk to the animals? The creepy blood red animals? Okay, well, apparently he's just gonna keep yelling at me, so I'm just gonna wake up Mabuka and go fuck yourselves. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, huh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's... Cogwind's a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been into a Thirsta. Horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty's waiting for me. I don't care. I'm going to use it. Wake that bitch up. Let's do this. Shenanigans! Yeah, man! Don't look into the eyes or your fate lies beyond the gates of doom. Well, that's foreboding. Oh, Jesus. What just happened? Uh, I'm not gonna yell or scream, because I'll break your ears. Beware of Mabuka! The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Well, excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bell. A human girl, 11 years old, and very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Rimmer. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yeah, I took the whole bottle. 
then I cannot use violence against you. That power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of ex essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Velokas from Prameed told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remmer killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Fran Bao. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remmer killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself. The truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Well, I got super depressing super fast. Alright. Down the rabbit hole, ladies and gentlemen. Literally. Oh, what the hell is going on? Um, pretty sure that thing has babies' faces sewn to it. Definitely not normal. Mm, nah, I'm good. I don't want to feel it anymore, Mr. Krabs. <sighs> no. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Oh, oh man. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle, huh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are, are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number, would ya? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. She's a bitch. They listen, they see, and they touch. Well... Alright, I guess I'll take a number. Number seven, my lucky number. Alright. You know, we might as well just count me at 50 in my swear jar and call it a day, because this ain't gonna go down. Let's be real. I, I don't think I can handle my cursage. Oh, well, here we are. Ah, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days. Yeah, <laughs> I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month, but I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Um, excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yeah, become a doctor yourself, that would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R.I. is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. How can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. What the? Alright. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh. Enough! It's impossible to talk sense with any of you! 
Of course you can make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it at all. Mm, that's true, but it'd be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to better understand each other. These are the biggest gang of misfits I have yet to come across. Like, there was weird, this is weirder. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Mmm, but who's the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Oh, alright, well, thanks for nothing. Okay, so now we gotta figure out, time, time is irrelevant, so we need to figure out how to make time go by faster. So, let's see what we can do to make time go faster. So, stealing tickets apparently is not an option. Oh god, that thing's mouth. Alright, so let's see what we can do. Is there anything in the bag? Alright. So these guys aren't going to let me buy, I guarantee it. Okay. So... Let's think about this here. So we got the knife, the ticket. Can I change it, maybe? Like I did the other thing before? No? All right. Hmm. Can I... Is that gonna let me do something? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. Not really, no. I'm not interested. All right. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. All right. All right, and last one just to try, because it seems that if I can figure out what's wrong with him, that we should be good to go. So let's figure out what's wrong with him. Mm. All right. Alright, so what are we thinking here? Because I don't have anything, well, I mean I can try using other stuff, I just don't know. Pretty sure Crayon's not going to do anything with that guy, but you know, it's worth a shot. Can I cut him? No, I guess not. So, there's not a way to click on anything else in this room. Guess we're not gonna have a choice but to head back up, guys, so let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Can I talk to the animals now? Hello, goat. You look a bit like Rimmer. Are you cousin to Rimmer, maybe? You're much prettier, though. Alright, well, that does me no good. Um. I can head back up and out. Is he in here? Yeah, he's in here. Come here, bro. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? 
Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Well, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. That is a sad thing for a ten-year-old to say, like, damn, man. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything's so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy, and talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. Well, I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want him so he can go back to a thirst and be happy. Like, it's weird that a giant eyeball is comforting my business right now. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Mm, lovely pain. So profound. Let me just bottle that shit up. Selling orphan's tears. Orphan's tears. Got No? Alright, maybe I'm a terrible human being. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. This bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Alright, cool. Well, I will go ahead and do that then, and we'll see how that goes. Alright. Time waits for no one. To trademark those orphan tears. You know. Alright, so now that I know what I'm doing, let's go back downstairs and get him those orphan tears. Alright. Make Vin Diesel's car go fast. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Huh, how lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. Here you go. And thank you. Your tears are absol taste absolutely delicious. Well, thanks, bro. Oh! Oh, it's my turn! Oh! This is exciting! Gonna do it! Hey! It's my turn. I gotta take it. See? My turn. Hello, patient number two. We're doing all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh? Lucky? But how do I get an appointment, then? Nah, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Are you insane? Call us. But why must I call you? Why can't I just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now, I'm waiting for you to call me. Uh, Alright. All right, I'll go make the call then. So now I gotta head back up through the door to the phone and dial the number, doing the thing. God, this is so irritating. Was this the one with the phone? Yeah, it was, okay. So we're dialing. See if I can dial that number. Don't touch that dial now. All right, so one, two, two, one. Two, seven, six. Oh, hello? Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Mm, it's Fran Bell. Uh-huh, I'm available now. No? No? Uh, no? Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. R really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. I think they do that, like, that's like real doctor's offices with where they make you come in and wait after you've already made an appointment, because fuck you, that's why. Alright. 
Can we do the thing now, nurse lady? Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bell's my name and the appointment's now. Let me check the archives. Yeah, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Because that's what we needed. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Cherus. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Oh, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. No, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. Well, I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. What? Okay. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't that the pain you feel enough? You're a rimmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Rimmer, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. I read a story about this, and this is not cool. I'm tripping. Nah. Um, creep status. You're under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why'd you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Um, what are you trying to say, Brotato? Cause, oh my god. Oh, well, here we are. Oh. No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please! Um... Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little creature must suffer and die before becoming a star. I'm super uncomfortable! Super uncomfortable! Okay... Hmm... I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Alright, are you gonna get up so that we can do that? Because, you know, can't touch that. Wait, can't touch this. Can't touch this. Alright, so if Kamala come around, I'll know what to do. Hint, hint, wink, wink, by the way. Shanky, shanky. The brain has many different parts. And creepy eyeball drawing. Well, you know, yeah, we would, Fran. Oh, God. Oh, Kitty! More important than Dr. Deer. But Kitty! Kitty, my darling! I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a Thurston, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Deard, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Deard, are you all right, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Deard, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? Well, I don't know, maybe this syringe filled with a red liquid? 
mean, I'm not sure what it does, but it could be cool, bro. Oh, no, no, wait, I didn't mean to... Maybe? What does this button do? Alright, so I guess injecting him with uh, liquid is the only option. <laughs> Maybe this will wake him up. Oh, that smile that she's got is sinister. Oh my god, what the? Wow, whoa! Ah! Damn! What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn. It's me, Fran! <sighs> what? I can't see very well. Fran Bell, sir, from the Oswald Asylum? We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran? What happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go! Come on, Fran. Monsters. I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Where, are they just coming out of the woodwork right now? Like, what? But what is she doing here? I thought you tamed her. Ugh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who's this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. Well, why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find my key to success. The key? Oh, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rimmer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rimmer all the time. But why does he hunt me? Rimmer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. I looked, for, I looked away for 15 minutes to go make food, and there were dismembered bodies. Welcome to Fran Bow, in case you didn't know and you're just joining us. This is the game. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. Your suffering and pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. It Grace? Please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Bitch, I don't trust you. I'm not fi- Nah, don't- No, you're not taking my cat- Dude, why is everybody taking my cat? You, like, 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 you just expect me to be okay with it from this point forward? Like, do not take my cat- You know what? All right, for now. If you drop that cat over the edge, I swear on my life, I swear to God, Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Do not drop that cat bro- Her head were a watermelon right now. Mm. Come on, Fran. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. 
You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! Ugh, I hate you! Should kill that bitch! You choked that bitch! You choked the shit out of that bitch! Stop it! Friend! Help! Please help! You choked You choked the shit out of that bitch! She killed your cat, bruh! She killed your cat! She killed your family! She choked! What you gonna do, old man? Oh, shh. Whoop. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. Oh, God, you're so creepy! I need to extract the brain right away. Fran? Are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dairn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. You get him, Edward. Kick their ass. Bruh. Yeah, man. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobro, ectoprote, palantris monachiest. Gorska, Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Kitty! Hello! Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of a child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. Do the thing, guys! Do the thing! I have faith in you! Damn, this is hitting me in the feels. Like, oh, wow. Okay, guys. Oh, this is intense. Okay. Oh. Oh, what happened? Edward? Palantris? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight? How? You're alive, my kitty! I missed you so much! Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Deer, look! It's Edward and Palantris! I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? Look upon me with disbelief, human. Oh, God, what the fuck is going on now? He can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave. Now. But can he come with us? Please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect and me help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But we can do is to make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be so very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Palantris. Damn, like, I... Oh... Now let's send Dr. Deer home. 
Marcel dear noanum vecma sundinsla ecto. Dude, like. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn! Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun! Let's go, kitty! <sighs> wow. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I chose happiness. Mmm. I hate this game. Oh, I, 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 I love hate this game. Man, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially completed Fran Bao. That was... That was something else. Um, damn. That message, though. Like, I, I have, like, legit tears in my eyes. Like, this was... This was a big deal for me. This was a really powerful game for me. I mean, for the, a lot of you guys, you know, that, that aren't aware of this... Um... I, uh, I lost my grandpa, actually. No, I didn't want to start. Hold on. Um, I lost my grandpa a couple of years ago, and, uh, it was, it, it hit me bad. Like, um, I know some of you were on my YouTube page, actually, when, when that happened, and, um, my grandpa was my dad, so it was, it was really bad, and it was really hard to lose him. Um, and then on top of that, you know, when, when I was younger throughout many, many years, um, and a lot of it had to do with a lot of things I went through, um, I was having nightmares. Like I had really bad nightmares about, a, about a place called the hospital. And this, this game was like all of that compiled crazy shit into one shit storm. Um, that was like, and there's not a lot of games that affect me like psychologically or like emotionally so powerfully um transistor was a really good game that affected me powerfully and and i gotta say like this this made it into my top three for that and i i mean there's not many that make me feel the way that this this game made me feel so um i just want to thank you guys for sticking through this with me because like damn it was something um like i don't even have words uh the the ending about how despite everything and the anger and the fear, like she basically went through the five stages of grief throughout the entirety of the game. Um, you know, the denial and the anger and, and everything else. And then you get to the end of it and she literally just, you know, granted it was, it was the crazy, but she, she chose what she chose. She chose to be happy. And that was the whole point of a is that, you know, you, you were, you were supposed to be happy. And so, you know, if you guys, if you guys have been on that field train, just try to remember, you know, at the end of the day, things really seem shitty, but that, um, it's, it's going to get better. It will get better. It takes so much time and so much patience and people telling you that it'll get better doesn't make it any better, but it really does. It, it does. You just have to fight it. And I think, I think this game hit, hit that for me. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to call it on this one. Like, damn, dude. Oh man, this game was this game was rough. But I'm gonna go ahead and go because um, I I gotta go cry a bathtub of tears now because I'm not gonna cry on camera. <laughs> like fuck you guys, that's not happening. Uh, my my swear jar hit forty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break it from here and say don't forget down below there's a donate button which is really cool because that means I can keep doing things that you guys want to see. Um, comments on YouTube. Uh, sending me messages. I want to hear from you guys so I can get everything all taken care of and, and, and interact more and do things. I can't interact if you guys aren't messaging me, so don't forget about that. I really appreciate you guys, and I couldn't do this if I didn't have a lot of you guys behind me. So don't forget, you can find me on Facebook.com slash Cosplay, YouTube.com slash Ivy, as well as Instagram and Twitter. Um, otherwise, this has been Getting Played with Autumn Ivy, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do.